Hey, Darth Daddy from Customs for the Kid. Just wanted to uh, hop on real quick and give you a quick, uh, I guess this could be kind of a tutorial and at the same time I'll let you know about a cool opportunity that's out there right now. Um, Arc Troopers in the Clone Wars style are really hard to get. Uh, you could find them online in the secondary market at pretty steep prices. I found a caster on Facebook, Camino Casting. Camino as in Attack of the Clones, Maker of the Clones. Uh, he ended up building these really cool three and three quarter inch kits where you could take a phase two Clone Wars action figure and basically just use, keeping the hands and the base of the body with all these pieces that you get here, you could make your own uh, Arc Trooper and the nice thing is it even has like the rotating sensor and uh, yeah I think it's pretty cool um, when it comes I've already made an adjustment to this one because uh, I'm making an echo but when you get it it's actually gonna the ammo pack is gonna be on the side uh, like this so I like the material like look how bendable that comma is he really loses, uses some cool material um, and it even, like if you look, it keeps that grain, I don't know if it, yeah, it's kind of showing up there now. You see that stripe along the side? It keeps the stripes, which is beautiful. Um, essentially, everybody always asks me, how do you uh, articulate five POA figures into three and three quarter inch figures? This is kind of a variation on it. Um, so essentially, this head, it's gonna go. We don't need it. Now, these are some pieces right here. This is the way I got the forearms and stuff. It's the complete part. Now, this joint, while it looks perfect, it's actually static. It's part of the, the cast here. So what I had to do, I had to um, hollow out that whole piece, take that ball joint out, and essentially what's going to happen is you take the figure and you shave down all the nubs because there's nothing there. The peg goes up into the arm here and this is basically just a plastic that glutes that o-ring. So you leave a little nub, you take the hollowed out portion, and you basically assemble it, just line up your uh, sleeves right here to the joint in the back. And uh, let me make sure I'm doing this right. I believe I am. Okay, so we got one arm there, another arm here. And basically I did this with all of the joints. Okay, so this one goes to this leg. And this one goes to this leg here. And essentially you're building yourself an arc trooper. Like, whoop. Now what I do is I crazy glue a little bit here, a little bit there. You want to keep it away from the joint itself. Um, let's see if I can get it. All right. Um, so it stays mobile, but uh, yeah. I do have to boil it apart. Luckily, I got this one without a belt. Um, but yeah, I'll boil that apart, pop it at the mid waist, throw that comma on, and then snap it back together. And uh, yeah, then after that, I could build all this. I can glue the ammo pack down to the right side uh, for the echo and get that in place. But that's basically all I need to do on this one. So this is the kit all built out. Um, now I modified mine. I'm going to make mine an echo. So I took this, cut it off, but everything's crazy glued in place. All the articulation is there. Um, yeah, the comma, nice and soft, which is awesome. Uh, range finder, you know, still working. And uh, yeah, it's a great little kit. Um, you do have to put just a little bit of uh, 
glue from a glue gun into the bottom of the head just so it clicks on there nice and tight and you know gives you all your range of motion and stuff but yeah that's essentially the build for my echo figure now all I have to do is paint them up and grab a clone head of his that I could throw on there but uh, yeah he's pretty much all set okay so now I just want to show you how that figure uh, paints up as you can see uh, all the parts are attached all the parts are painted uh, so just to show you the difference echo which is on the left that's made from the casted pieces that I showed the build with and if you look at the figure on the right that is uh, Arc Trooper 5's and 5's was made with the Clone Wars Blitz figure so you're really not seeing much of a difference at all when you uh, see how it all goes together uh, so yeah I would say this is actually a great way to make Arc Troopers on the cheap so Highly recommend you guys all go out and get some of these casts from Camino Casting. The parts are excellent. And uh, yeah, I can't, I can't say enough good things about it. So yeah, happy customizing. So a few more pieces that are available through Camino Casting that he sent some samples which are pretty cool. Uh, you have the Phase 2 Clone Trooper helmet which is pretty awesome. Um, from there you got the Wolf. The He looks like kind of Arf Trooper. He's the, I guess, massive handler uh, in that episode where Ahsoka gets arrested and tries to escape. That's the, that one there. From over there, we got the clone uh, pilot. I think that's the Clone Wars Phase 2. And then we have the Art Trooper, and I love the way he sends in the antennas that uh, attach. But uh, yeah, he sends a couple, which is awesome. And, or he sent me a couple. These are just samples, so. Uh, yeah, and then you have these really cool uh, dark sabers. And this one almost has like a, uh, a smoky clear. It's, it has translucence to it. Uh, I don't know if we, yeah. But anyway, yeah. And then the backpack, get a little bit of t-shirt material or an old thin dress sock and you could cover that up. But yeah, he's got a lot of cool stuff there. So I definitely recommend you going over to Camino Casting and checking it all out.